Hi Sandy. I like the observations you made in your video about cognitive load theory. You mentioned that information would not be retained by students if they get overwhelmed by what it is they are studying. And I gotta say that makes perfect sense to me, and I would argue that most people would agree that when stress is induced into a process like a deadline approaching or a test looming ahead, uh, a task they are responsible for is going to be much more difficult thinking about that. Uh, you also discussed slides that are text heavy. I attended an instructor development course presented by my state and they were incredibly picky about slides. They nearly prohibited them. I think that might relate more to instructors leaning on the presentation to impart learning versus teaching and engaging in learning experiences, uh, but our slide count had to be kept to a bare minimum. And the slides we did keep, we were only allowed to display images or graphics, no text. Uh, I learned from that that text heavy, text heavy slides rather do cause struggles and uh, slides with just images can do just as well. Uh, you mentioned that visuals give the short-term memory a chance to catch up. And on that basis, I believe that slides are needed if they are used well. In one study that I read, Camden, Cutting, and DeLong examined if dynamic images like video benefit memory when resources are limited. They showed these participants of their study uh, vi short videos and also static images for a very quick time or a very brief moment. And they found a slight increase in memory with the uh, motion and surmised that it was a presence of motion, not its amount, that was a driving factor behind the slight memory boost for the dynamic images versus the static images. I considered that study when building my slide decks for presentations. I don't overuse transitions, I don't overuse animations, uh, but I do include them and video as well it would seem that they have a distinct place in the learning process. Um, so I find it beneficial. Hey Sandy, thank you for your video.